I think when you have an interview, it's very easy to focus on the small details of the experience and to worry about those details, like what sort of shoes you're going to wear, what you're going to do with your hair, what you're going to do if you can't find the room or if the train is late. And I think the thing to remember is that these things are ultimately not important. Um, you know, if things go wrong, we usually sort them out and we're not demons who are not going to forgive you. For all candidates for the three-year degree, there'll be a language test. Most likely you'll do Latin. If you're doing only Greek A-level, it'll be a Greek test. It's a short passage, about 100 words, which you need to translate into English. It's the same for all candidates, and we use it as part of the assessment, along with the interview, material from your personal statement, predicted grades, etc. It is just one part of the way that we're trying to assess candidates. All you can do is come into the room and give it your best shot. In my interview I was given a piece of the Aeneid to translate um, and I was very nervous. I had lots of problems with vocab but uh, they really helped me through it and helped me to relax. Uh, so my interview began with the interviewer giving me a piece of Ovid's Amoris to translate and although I wasn't given any time previously to prepare it, they were more looking about how I would go about translating it as opposed to producing a, a perfect translation on the spot. For four-year candidates, the process is, is very similar to how it is for three-year candidates. The only real difference is that you'll have an assessed language session in the faculty. And this is a face-to-face -face session in which you'll go over some linguistic material. If you've done some Latin or some Greek, even just a little bit, you might look at a little bit of Latin or Greek with the person who's taking the session. If you haven't studied any Latin or Greek, and that's usually the majority of candidates, you'll probably be asked to read some material in English immediately prior to the session, some material that gets you to think about language in terms of its morphology, in terms of its structures, in a slightly linguistic sort of a way. And then... So, I guess, people often ask, what do we do with um, personal statements? And I think they're thing to think about is that we don't really know anything about you, about, um, about our candidates, apart from what we have on, our, on, on paper. So what we often do, what we're, what we're trying to do is work out, you know, what's your experience, what knowledge do you have already, what have you learned in school, what have you been doing outside of school, to try and find a starting place for the conversation that we're going to have in the interview. Um, and so that might be based on the personal statement specifically, it might be based on the essay that you've sent in if you've submitted an essay. It's more of a conversation than just an like relentless questioning and sort of picking apart your arguments. It's just more of a bit of a friendly chat about just classical ideas that you really enjoy. So I think definitely with your personal statement, you should be prepared for any questions. Um, even the smallest or the biggest thing, they can pick up on it uh, and they, you know try and make an argument with you about it. So just preparation, thorough preparation um, is really important, um, just to kind of build you know, like your confidence and be ready for, for what they might throw at you. Yeah, for example, I was quite taken aback when I was asked about the aspect of Chinese that I'd studied and I'd written in my personal statement, because I was asked about how it compares with Latin and Greek, and that was something I hadn't really thought about before that very moment, so it's good to prepare. I was lucky enough to have had the opportunity to study Latin and Greek to A-level at school, um, so I was asked quite a lot about my set text for both of them, and asked to draw links between Latin set text and the Greek set text, uh, which was never really something that I'd done before, so I found that really interesting. I mean, when I'm interviewing, I think we might see what kind of ideas you've discussed and ask a question based on those as a starting point for thinking about more issues. Um, so I, I would always recommend that people reread what they've written on the personal statement, um, but not necessarily think that because you've mentioned one book, you're going to be asked, you know, what's on page 354 of that book? Um, it might be that someone in the room has written that book, in which case uh, it's probably worth reading it again. Um, but otherwise, we're not trying to test what you remember about things. We're trying to test how you think about things. All applicants for classics get two interviews, one at the college that you applied for and one at another one which is randomly allocated. So um, I got given two interviews, um, one at the college which I applied to, Keys, 
and uh, another one at Downing College. So I'm an MML student, which is Modern and Medieval Languages. Uh, so my two languages are German and Latin, and I had an interview for each of those. I'd say my top tip is to get really interested in a few areas and know them as well as you possibly can. Um, but it's not necessary to know everything there is to know about classics, and they certainly don't expect that of you. My one piece of advice would be that they're looking not for someone who knows everything, but for someone who they'd actually want to teach. So my top tip for the interview would be not to panic when you're confronted with something which you've never read about or even heard about at all, because they're really looking for how you think on your feet. Uh, the, the biggest piece of advice I'd, I'd give um, for anyone coming to interview is to try and relax as much as possible. I mean, so my top tip for interview season uh, is, I think, to have confidence in who you are, why you want to be doing classics, and think about that. Think about what evidence you have for that feeling. My top tip is try to relax and enjoy it. We know it's challenging, we know it's an unusual situation for you and a bit scary, but actually if you can enjoy the fact that two people who are passionate about the same subject as you're interested in, care about what you think, are asking you questions, and try and enjoy it as a conversation, not only will it be more enjoyable for you, but you'll actually do a lot better. So try to think of it as an opportunity to talk to people who have the same interests as you.